Hey everybody, it's Emily and this is Emily Lou Arts. I'm I'm here. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Step 1, find a journal. Ooh, I keep trying to record this voiceover and I just keep deleting it cuz it just comes out like mumbly jumbly you guys <laughs> March was a month it was another month just like February <laughs> uh things happened uh, things didn't uh, I <sighs> here we are <laughs> it's almost over um and so we're going to start journaling again and I have missed you guys I have appreciated um that you guys care enough to know where I'm at. And I'm sorry that it doesn't appear that I care enough to respond. That's not it. It's just that uh, it, it was a it was a valley. Peaks and valleys, you guys. It was a valley. And uh, sometimes when you're in the valley, you just can't. You just, you just can't. So here we are, but we're going to start journaling about Sunday, March 20th, which was my birthday and the first day of spring. Um, I'm not going to um, say that that is special, but I think that's kind of special. Like, I was born on the first day of spring. Like, isn't that great? Um, I don't know. It's one of the things that I uh, am proud of, even though I had no part in it. Um <laughs> It really makes me think that my personality should be a lot more springy <laughs> or like something, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but well, it is what it is. Maybe that's something to strive for. I put this bicycle that was part of a birthday card that my friend Pam made me and she sent it to me in the beginning of March and I really loved it. I thought it was really cute. And it actually turned out to be absolutely gorgeous weather on my birthday. And uh, Michael and Addie did go for a bike ride. So I thought that was the cutest thing. And I wanted to keep it. Um, there was these little embroidered flowers. So Pam, the craft queen, um, she sends me these homemade cards. And they're fabulous. And, um, and then I destroy them and put them in my journal. So if you're watching, Pam, it means that I love you that I destroy the things that you make me. <laughs> For all of you who see me cut apart bits and pieces of things that you've sent me, it's because I love it. That's why I put it in my journal. So don't be offended. <laughs> um, I, Addie had girls, a couple of girlfriends spend the night on Saturday uh, before my birthday and um, they were up up like little weasels far into the night, I guess making a banner for me and, and a birthday card that said, happy birthday, mom, Mrs. Emily. <laughs> it was really sweet. Uh, it was it was a fantastic day. I used my little Dora King rabbit stickers. There's some numbers. It's actually a three and a nine. It's kind of hard to tell the three, but you know, I, I know it's there. Um, my body knows that it's a three and a nine. That's for sure. <laughs> my joints... <laughs> My joints are screaming 39. <laughs> um, but yeah, when my uh, friend Susie came to pick up her daughter from our house in the morning, she brought me these beautiful tulips. Oh my gosh, they were so pretty. They were like this orange, this beautiful, beautiful orange color. And I was in love. And it was just a, it was a wonderful way to start, start the day. Um, and then I just got to spend it with my my people, you know, Michael and the kids, and um, they got me the most amazing, hilarious, thoughtful uh, gifts that just, they they know me and they love me, and it's apparent in the things that they uh, pick out for me, which um, it's not about um, anything other than that, right? It's, I mean, not about, <laughs> it is, it's not, <laughs> It's not about the gifts you receive, it's about the love you receive. And in the things, I I felt very loved. Um, and I, I actually, people were like, what'd you do on your birthday? I was like, I cleaned my house. <laughs> and I opened the windows. <laughs> and you guys, I did. And it was lovely. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> like, it had been a long month of me not 
cleaning my house or doing much of anything. And I felt like cracking open the mausoleum and, you know, like airing it out. And I washed rugs and I vacuumed and it felt wonderful. And I, I loved it. This is 39. It doesn't take much to thrill me. And uh, it, it was good. So um, for all the wonderful happy birthdays that I got from from you guys and the Greedy Weasel Facebook group and everything and, and cards too um, and everything, I just, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Um, it was it was a good year. I hope we're on to a better year, quite frankly. <laughs> Um, look at this magnificent card that my mom made me. It's like a book card, a card book. And it was all handmade out of beautiful scrapbook paper. And they each wrote me a little like a note letter thing on two of the cards. And then there was some money in there for me. And then the rest was like different scrapbook pieces that I could use. And I am obsessed. I love it. Um, so I wanted to put it in my journal, ob, obvi, <laughs> but it's so thick that I couldn't fit it in. That's what she said. <laughs> God, you guys. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to save the card for the bulk of the card for something else because I, ca I can't get it in there. But I did, I'm going to pin in, um, like paper clip in the notes that my parents wrote me. They were so sweet. And um, I saw this picture on Instagram. It is from Bo Boha at Boha underscore allure, I think. I'm not sure. But I, th I think I saw it on Pinterest and I took a screenshot of it, of it, but that might be the person that drew it. Um, and it is so beautiful. And I just loved the imagery so much. And it says, I'm no longer who I was. I'm not yet who I'm becoming. I love that. And the girls like coming out of the chrysalis. Isn't that beautiful? I just loved the imagery of that and the colors of it. Obviously, I've told you the woes of my printer. It came out much darker than it actually kind of was. But uh, I just, I could not love that image more. I think it's so beautiful. And um, the sentiment I felt like was very appropriate um you know changes I'm changing hopefully for the better sometimes not but you know sometimes it just it takes a lot to learn a, the same lesson it takes a lot of hitting getting hit in the head with the same hammer before you're like oh I get it <laughs> I'm still not there yet but working on it um I'm emerging from the chrysalis <laughs> no <laughs> I think I'm probably still in the pupa <laughs> stage <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, I decided to use some of the... Um, so you know how much I love my antiquarian sticker book? Well, there's a botanist sticker anthology that is the same kind of thing as the antiquarian sticker book except it's all like plants and um, different different leaves and trees and things like that it's beautiful and um Jenny sent it to me in I love it so much and I was using a lot of the um flowers there because I just like the imagery of the roots growing up you know um and I, d I didn't, part of this whole catching up thing was that not a lot has happened really. So some things I just, I just wanted to do things that I had like taken screenshots of or quotes or pictures even. I had no idea, but I was just trying to kind of get a snapshot of where, where I am in life at this point, um, you know, so, so that when I look back on it or when somebody looks back on it, um, you know, there's the time is accounted for. I didn't, I didn't want to just skip the pages or cut them out because then it's like, then it's like the rough times don't happen. You're like painting a picture that's not really real, you know? Um, 
But I guess if you just were to leave them blank, that speaks volumes too. Um, but, you know, I like to throw in things if I have stuff to do or stuff to say. And, um, you know, quotes and pictures and whatnot. Some of my favorite things. So that's what I did. And then I pinned in the little cards that my um, parents had written me. And uh, it was lovely. And, uh, and I loved it. Uh, on Tuesday, last Tuesday, the 22nd, um, this piece of collage was sent to me um, from one of, the, one of the gals that had sent me a whole bunch of um, collage. I think it was from the Netherlands or Germany. I can't remember now. I threw away the thing. Um, I want to say Germany. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, but I loved this picture because it really represented to me like kind of where we were in that spring break week is like things were kind of thawing out. Um, well, I guess this is this last week. But um, people are coming out out of their houses. <laughs> we're seeing faces. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just it, spring. I feel like even though it's here in name, it will be here in body very soon. Um, which makes me so incredibly happy uh, sp on a spiritual level. <laughs> um, and I just, I, I loved that piece of collage so much, I couldn't even handle it. So I just put that in there. <laughs> and then I cut out that little piece of, um, also that was, this piece of collage was from her of the um, man and the woman sitting on the couch watching TV. Because um, Michael had the day off and I had the day off and the kids were at school. So we spent the day together and we went to the mall. We're mall walkers. We like to walk and browse, see what there is to see. Um, like I said, it doesn't take a lot to thrill me now, nowadays. <laughs> so we just had a lovely time. We had lunch together and, um, you know, ended the night watching TV, which is what we love to do. <laughs> It sounds so lame, but it's not. <laughs> um, and I, I'm okay with that. I love it. So um, I, I just thought that was a perfect way to encapsulate that day. And I, I really didn't have a lot to say about it, just that we spent time together. Um, so the collage. I let the collage do the speaking for me, which is what I enjoy doing in my journal much of the time, you know. Somebody sent me this cat washi tape, and um, I put two of them on the floor <laughs> next to the um, collage because, obviously, fatty and skinny, they're always, always nearby. And um, they're hanging in, if, in case you're wondering. They're okay. Um, they're fat. They're skinny. They're barfy. They're shedy. They're, they're wonderful. I mean, they're alive still, so that's something, right? Um the Wednesday the 23rd and Thursday the 24th. Okay, you guys, this is like a story. This is a story that will unfold for you. Um, I have been, okay, so <laughs> where do I even start? It started at Target, as most things do. I saw these orange rugs because my house um, when we moved in, like in 2014, I fell in love with these orangish rugs that they had at Target at the time. And I love them. And I, there, I got sort of like coordinating ones. They kind of were in my bathroom upstairs, like Michael and I's bathroom. And then the kitchen had these kind of orangey rugs. It just works. It works in my house if you were to see it. And I, and I love it. It's, it's really cute. And, um, then, you know, it's been a lot of years, so those rugs have gotten dirty. They've gotten nail polish spilled on them from, you know, small gremlins that live in my home. And they're just, they were looking a little bit ragged. And I love doing house stuff. So, I mean, I basically haven't done anything in quite a while. Because once we moved in and I, we kind of got things the way we liked it, we just like lived. We've like lived since then, you know, and that hasn't been the priority. Um, but these rugs, they, they just got something, they sparked something in my soul, the rugs did. And, um, but I resisted, I resisted 
until I couldn't resist anymore. And then it was like a tumble. It was a tumbleweed. It was a tumbleweed that gained strength. And so it started with the rugs and then the orange tulips that Susie gave me that I just fell in love with. And then the money that my parents gave me in my birthday card, I happened to mosey on over to Home Goods, hadn't been there in a hot minute, and found some like I love to go back in their like um, artwork section. Well, I found some things that I just I fell in love with, and so they came home with me, and we just had a rejuge. It turned into a rejuging of my home. And um, I couldn't be happier. So I used some of the antiquarian um, stickers because the the girl with her head in an orange tree, I feel like that was me. Like it was always going to happen, right? It just, I had, I should have just succumbed to it earlier. And then the collage of the, she's like rearranging things. It's just, that was the vibe this week. Um, and then we fixed up one of the walls in the playroom that stuff had come like it had pulled paint off when you know our virtual learning fail I had put up educational posters um because I thought hey let's make it like a school room no that that didn't work and it ripped the paint off the wall um and we ended up back in school in two weeks later so it was all just for naught um but then that wall needed to be like kind of patched and sanded and painted And then that led to like me calling my mom, you know, randomly at one o'clock in the afternoon and saying, I did something. I bought wallpaper. And she was like, oh God, I'll be there in 10 minutes. (laughs) I love her. I love her so much. (laughs) Uh, And we determined that the like, adhesive wallpaper that I bought at Lowe's like I bought it for a half bath as like an accent wall on the back it wasn't the right shade it wasn't the right shade um but we did end up determining that we had to take down the curtains in my living room because they were just too dark and it changed the entire room it changed the entire room so it started with the rugs at target that i didn't buy because i was trying to be you know responsible and then it went to the artwork that led to a rejuging of um like my bathroom and the kids bathroom and um just some random things here and there and a lot of it was like just shopping what is actually already in my house and putting some of it in different places, just freshening it up, which ultimately led to um, me determining that I needed those rugs. So (laughs) after all of that, I went back and bought the rugs and the matching towels (laughs) Um, and curtains (laughs) because Uh, That wasn't even on my radar, but once we took those dark brown curtains that were in my, like, well, it was a dining room from the people that lived here last, but since we moved in with small children, it was kind of like a playroom off of the kitchen, and then it's kind of evolved into, like, another TV room where they hang out, and Henry's computer is in there, and the gerbils are in there, and um, it's kind of like the kids' room, sort of, Uh, So those drapes were just so heavy and formal and dark. And the picture of the two women just sitting, staring off next to each other into space, like just so encapsulates my mom and I just looking at things. Like we just sat on the couch and just stared at the wall in silence. Like, what do you think of those curtains? silence as we both just ponder curtains (laughs) just ponder curtains and then we take them down and I moved the curtains that were in my bedroom I hung some of those up where those dark brown ones were and they are like um kind of oatmeal colored and we were both like oh my god it's incredible It's so much better. It changes the entire room. It lightens up the entire space. It's, uh, we, we, we probably sat and oohed and awed over these different curtains for like an hour. 
And then Michael came home from work and Addie was like, Daddy, we got new curtains. And he walks into the, into the living room and he's like, What new curtains? Are those different? Those aren't the curtains that were there before? <laughs> no, they are literally the exact opposite. <laughs> they are like oatmeal colored. The other ones were so brown they were almost black <laughs> and had dark green swirls on them. <laughs> like, like, seriously? Oh my God. I love them. So anyways, um, a lot of this, so that's this, this basically is just a collage telling that story. The story of rejudging this week. Rejudging. I'm going to keep saying judge. <laughs> I use some of those satel, satelier, sats, um, yep, those from Amazon and um, a lot of collage from Real Simple. And then the um, sticker book, the what is it let's stay home or something um Vinati sent it to me and where'd I put it where is it I know I put it up here but it's like it was one of those like quarantine quarantine sticker books but it's got a whole bunch of like home stuff in it and it was so perfect so I used a bunch of stickers from that why can't I find it um and like, like the collage says, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so that's where we are. And then um, I realized that like, while I had had a really hard time, like getting excited about getting in my journal and, you know, I just, I just had not felt inspired by anything or to do anything. But that was the first time that I like felt, you know, in like the month that I felt excited and inspired by something. So I was like, you know, I'm going to follow this and just do what feels good right now, which is was kind of freshening up my space. It sounds like I spent a lot of money, but I, I really didn't. It was kind of like just a rearrangement of things that I had. And okay, the curtains ended up being like a little bit of money. Um, a littler amount than I told Michael that they were. Shh, just shh, be quiet, all right? Um, they just do so much for the space. It needed to happen, okay? These brown ones, they needed to be lit on fire. So anyways, I guess where I was going with that is just let yourself, if you're not feeling inspired by your journal or by planning or the things that normally make you happy, then open yourself up to different possibilities. You know, maybe the inspiration will come from a different area, a different area like cleaning out things in your life. Maybe that will spark you. Maybe something else that you don't even realize yet will kind of get get you back, you know? Um, so I would encourage you to be open to different things that might help you. Because sometimes when you're just feeling low and the normal things just aren't doing it, you know, you got to be open to, um, what am I saying? Just a different, open to doing whatever feels good and not in a weird way, you guys. <sighs> if anyone is still with me, I congratulate you from the bottom of my heart because I have obviously forgotten how to do this. So... Friday, <laughs> that brings us to yesterday. I used one of my Pusheen sticker flakes of a cup of coffee, um, a cup of coffee, because <laughs> I went to my parents' house for a cup of coffee. <laughs> and um, obviously my mom, you know, doing some things this week with me, like the curtains and, and the rehanging different artworks and stuff like that. I'm saying artworks. I mean, it's not, this isn't like the Louvre, okay? Um, they, they got the idea to look for different cabinet poles for their kitchen. So they were, were at Lowe's and um, picked out new cabinet poles. So that, that was very exciting. <laughs> um, thought it might freshen up the space. And um, so I put my little uh, very nice sticker. Those are Papa Pio stickers. Um, I relinked where I did find them on Amazon. Um, because it, it really, they were very pretty. And um, so it was nice to sit down, have coffee with them. And um, then I put a little Papa Pio cat shopping sticker because I had to go and um, 
I didn't have to, but I did have to go and buy a couple more panels of those curtains um, because, because, <laughs> and they're really pretty um, and just very light. It just feels so much lighter in there. And that's what I need right now. That's what we all need. And, um, and then I put one of the Dora King, like, bear sticker flakes um, because I did catch up in my journal and film it yesterday. Um, but this is my work weekend, so I didn't have time before I went to work to finish filming or editing or doing a voiceover. So um, I went to work, and here we are Saturday. And I'm using more stickers. Um, these are, somebody sent me these, and I want to say that they were part of those sugar cube stickers, but they're not. I always think that they are, but I don't think that they are. <laughs> Did that make any sense? Um, but they look so kind of similar that I, I want to, maybe they were Hobonichi. I'm not sure, but I really liked them. And it's a beautiful sunny day today, still kind of cold. Um, but I just really liked them. So I stuck those in there. And then used one of my Tombow pens to um, write Saturday. And um, then this piece of collage is from a um, one of the magazines that I got sent. I'm so glad that you guys love looking at the Daphne's Diary magazines. Isn't it so pretty? I still need to get more collage from those. And I have a couple real simples I need to harvest here with you guys. Um... But the little ballerina was from, I think, the February issue of the Daphne's Diary. And I had to uh, drop Addie off at dance this morning. I, like, leave it until the last possible second. <laughs> like, Michael gets her ready before he leaves for work. And then I'm like, okay, let's go, <laughs> like, throw my glasses on and get in the car just so I can sleep as long as possible. Um, and then when I got home, <laughs> Henry was playing terraria some a video game and he's like hey mommy come watch me defeat this the eye of cthulhu <laughs> or some bullshit like that i was like okay so i went and i sat with him and um i just wanted to look at his face i just wanted to look at his face and i was like can i touch your face <laughs> He's like, of course. <laughs> That's what I love so much about him. Sometimes I just want to like hug him and touch his face and his hair and just to see how soft and beautiful he is, my boy. <laughs> you know, like just how beautiful and wonderful he is. So he let me just watch him play his video game and feel his cheeks and stroke his hair and stare at him like a real creeper for like 10 minutes. <laughs> And I loved it. And I took a picture of him. And you can see in the uh, slant of his eyeballs, he's like, are you done yet? <laughs> oh, I just, you know, sometimes you just have to look at your kids. Just take a second to just look at them. Look at their faces and their expressions and how they've changed. And yeah, it's maybe it's weird, but um, that's okay. Because I know that... Every stage that they've been in is like burned in my brain because like down to the freckle because I just love looking at their faces sometimes, you know, so I know this sounds strange. <laughs> if you were with me before, <laughs> after the curtains, you're definitely gone now. But um, I would encourage you to just sit and look at your kids and if they'll let you touch their face. <laughs> touch their face and look at all their freckles and their eyelashes and their beautiful hair and hug them and that's it <laughs> and then go about your day <laughs> um so yeah I printed that that off on my sprocket um so it's not the best quality but it's all I needed um and then I put one of those little banana stickers, the banana cats, because that one with the glasses, <laughs> he reminds me so much of Michael. Like if, if a sticker of a cat in a banana could remind me of someone, it does. It reminds me of him. Um, 
and he's working. But then when he gets home from work, he's going to have to run and get Addie from a birthday party. And it's just, you know, like ships passing in the night on my work weekends. Um, and I just love him so much because I know he's tired and he works so hard. And I know the kids will just torture him about doing stuff when he gets home, like jumping on the trampoline and, and doing stuff. And he'll do it um, because he's a good dad. They just don't know how lucky they are. Um, and then I just put some more stickers. I used a lot of those og San stickers because those also remind me very much of Michael. I don't know why, but they do. And, um, and then I'm putting hearts on it. So that is the catch-up of the last week in my journal. And um, I hope to not be gone again for as long as I was gone. Um, Oh, I forgot to tell you that I added freckles to my page. <laughs> it just was necessary. And um, this is some of the pages that you've missed. Um, a lot of pictures, a lot of quotes, and sometimes just writing and washy. And um, that that's it. I, uh, I hope you guys are doing okay. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.